Hello and welcome to The Proof, where we dissect and debunk the misinformation circulating in the media. The Proof is a program powered by Africa Check, dedicated to providing clarity in times of uncertainty. On August 1st, Nigerians launched a series of nationwide demonstrations in response to the country's worsening economic conditions. Now, these protests, known as 10 Days of Rage, are marked by the hashtag and bad governance. In today's episode, we will examine the claim that the protests were postponed from their original start date to Independence Day, as well as other misinformation circulating before and during the protests. Stay tuned as we uncover the facts behind these rumors. I'm your host, Darshan Usman. Welcome back. Now, joining us on today's episode of The Proof is Orwell Ogbi, a researcher and community manager at Africa Check. Thank you for joining us, Orwell. Hi, Dashin. Uh, thank you for having me. Now, let's get started. These protests were tagged hashtag and bad governance. Now, even before they started, false claims circulated on social media about them. One claim was that the protest had been postponed to Independence Day on October 1st due to security concerns. However, it still began on August 1st. Was it actually postponed? What really happened? This claim is, is obviously false. Um, it, you know, they, they, despite the protest that happened on, on the first day, um, which is August 1, uh, the protest continued in, in several states. Uh, you know, was also debunked by, by one of the major voices around uh, this protest, which is uh, former presidential candidate and activist, uh, Omoile Shore. And obviously, we, we saw that, that you know, the, the protest continued um, and there was no evidence that it was uh, postponed at any point. That's quite clear. Now, another claim surfaced about Peter Obi the former presidential candidate for the Labour Party, leading an anti-government protest in Abuja. What did your investigation reveal? I mean, th this one is another, another uh, false claim. Um, the, the video uh, showing Obi supposedly uh, leading uh, the protest in Abuja actually came from um, uh, June 26th. Uh, this year and and you know what was happening there was you know there was this dispute between uh, the Nigerian Labour Congress and the uh, Labour Party and and, and and Peter B was was there to you know try to uh, intervene and and resolve that dispute so he was uh, speaking to to, to the people uh, you know to, to try and resolve that uh, dispute and so um, it has nothing to do with the August protest. And even Peter B himself uh, did debunk that uh, claim on, on his ex account. Right. It is crucial to check the authenticity of such posts. Now, all well, there was a video that circulated with a caption that suggests that protesters burned down a police station in Abuja. Can you shed more light on this? Um, sure. Um, that that was the first day of of the protest. Um, you know, this this video began to circulate. Uh, uh, you know, showing you know young people protesting, you know, breaking down things, burning things on the expressway, and and we were able to identify that that expressway is the uh, Abuja. Uh, Kefi Expressway that leads, uh, you know, from the FCT into Nasrao State, and um, the you know the, the narrative that was moving around with the video is that the the, the protesting youth had uh, burnt down the Nyanya uh, police station, um, uh, and, and so, oh, and we did uh, you know, of course we identified that that this was of um, near uh, a, a checkpoint along that road. But at the end of the day, um, 
we we were able to determine that that what was burnt uh, was the was a compartment at the, at the checkpoint uh, that that police uh, use at, at the checkpoint along the road um, um, and not the police station. <laughs> In this age where misinformation is rampant, it is important that you know how to check the information that you receive online to see if they are authentic, believable, or correct. Here are three tips to help you. One, before you share any information, always verify. If you have any doubts, if you're unsure, if you're unable to verify these claims, do not share them. Two, check credible sources. Check if any credible news outlets have published this particular information and you can also check with official government sources if there's any information about it. Three, you can send to fire checkers like Africa Check to help you verify. You can send it to us on WhatsApp on 090-8377-7789. You can also tag us on X, Instagram and Facebook and we'll be happy to fact check them for you. See ya! We also saw videos of the protests turning violent and properties destroyed in Kano. Now, did you check them? Were they all truly from this protest? Um, yes, in, indeed. Um, you know, the, this information played a part in, um, you know, sort of fueling this, this, this protest. Um, yeah, if, oh, I mean, the, the facts on ground are clear that, 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 you know, there's economic hardship and Nigerians are, are you know, going through so their conditions because of rising cost of living, um, which obviously is the declared uh, purpose for the protest. Uh, but however, we, we found, uh, you know, evidence that disinformation, you know, played a part in, in the attempts to um, uh, stop the, uh, prevent the protest and also in attempts to keep it going. For instance, we, we debunked um, a, a claim that, that, that circulated quite well that, uh, that the UN will intervene uh, in Nigeria and take over the government if the protest continued uh, for 15 days. In fact, it said, oh, it used to be 30 days, but it's now 15 days. And, you, you know, imagine the impact that would have. And so, um, you know, you know the, obviously, um, the United Nations doesn't have uh, such authority to uh, intervene and take over the government in that way. So that claim completely false, but obviously it would have, it would have influenced uh, the protests in some way. Um, also talking about um, you know uh, an influence operation, um, we 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 saw you know videos of of people uh, flying the Russian flag, uh, especially in, in in the north, and um, you know obviously the, the Russian government has come out to to deny any involvement in that, uh, you know, and then. You know, security agencies are still investigating that matter. All right, before we go, what is Africa Check's advice on how to verify information and stay abreast of accurate information? It, it's important to uh, pay very close attention to um, any kind of information that you you get, especially in times like this, in, uh, when you have you know protests or something that's that uh, you know. Uh, also a, a lot of uh, public attention um, and, and so, oh, what you do is to always try to uh, you know compare the information that you have um, you know with with uh, information from credible sources and uh, uh, you know credible news platforms and and even official sources right um, and then you know especially when they come as uh, you know photo or video you can use some fact checking tools uh, that are you know easily accessible and and do a simple uh, reverse image search uh, you know to determine whether what you're dealing with is is a old 
uh, or unrelated um, photo or video, right? And then, you know, you can also check out, uh, you know, fact-checking websites like, like Africa Check. I mean, you know, what, what you're trying to verify may have been uh, checked by, you know, uh, fact-checkers. And, and, you know, it does be helpful for you to, um, you know, look at the fact check and know and know what is true and what is not. And but most importantly, uh, you know, before you share any information, don't share any information until you have verified it. Thank you all well for your insights. It's been enlightening to debunk these myths. Thank you for having me. Always remember that misinformation can have serious consequences and we must all remain vigilant and critical of the information we consume. Stay informed, stay critical, and help us combat misinformation. Now, if you have comments or claims you want us to fact check, tweet at africacheck underscore ng. Follow News Central on our social media platforms at News Central TV and you can also visit our website. It's www.newscentral.africa. Stay informed and stay alert. Until next time, I'm Darshan Usman, signing off.